This is Dragon Blogger here to show you how you can send a free e-card with 123greetings.com. 123greetings is an e-card website that not only lets you send a card for any type of occasion, but also lets you sign up with their connect and build an address book so you can keep track of all your friends and relatives' birthdays and get email reminders uh, when their birthdays are about to come up so that you can make sure you send them a card every time and not be late. To show you how easy it is to send an animated e-card, I'm going to send a sample e-card in this demonstration. So um, I was thinking of maybe a thank you card to a coworker, so you can browse any one of the categories at the top, or you can actually do a search for e-card. If you want to search for a thank you card, you just do a search for thank you, and you can get a quick list of any e-cards that fall under the thank you category and keywords. One thing I like about 123 Greetings is in addition to animated e-cards, you can actually have YouTube videos inside of an e-card and there's a lot of popular YouTube video e-cards for an added unique experience. You can also see the most popular e-cards uh, by the number of views and the rating and how often they're liked. So it gives you a good overview on what are high quality e-cards or what's well liked and what's well received. Um, there's a lot of uh, ways you can search for e-cards. In this case, I'm going to go to the at work category. And I'm thinking about a thank you card for a coworker. So I'll browse the different subcategories in a thank you. And let's do uh, a generic thank you card at work. Looks good to me. You click on the card that you want to send. And then it'll pop up with the animated card. You click on play to play the card. And the card has music on it by default. But if you want to shut the music off, you can say music off. You also have a, a default selection of several different music styles that you can default with your e-card and these are all customizable so if you choose one it will have that music style when you send the e-card so you could send the e-card with music off or you could send the e-card with a specific music style so if you like the e-card and what it says and again this is a typical note of thanks you can click on the send this e-card button then you just type in your sender details and i'll have my sender details up here And you get to write your own custom message. And on the right-hand side here, it just shows you how it looks uh, when you display it or, or as you type it. So if I say, you for all the hard work this week, you did a fantastic job with that project. So there, typical note. And then I can click here to preview what it looks like in the e-card. And it'll pop up a pop-up. And it shows you the e-card with the play button and with your custom message and then who it's from which is my name at the bottom here there and once you like the card or you you like the preview you can go ahead and put in the receiving details like employee here and then the employee's email address um blah at blah, blah. Mm -hmm. and then you can actually add multiple receivers if you wanted to make like a group e-card or something to send to multiple people you can also date the e-card this allows you to fill out all your e-cards for people's birthdays ahead of time and date when they send. So you don't have to rush and do it on the day of somebody's birthday. You could do it the day before. You could do it a week before. It allows you to build anniversary cards, all sorts of cards, and, and create them ahead of time. You also can get notifications when somebody views the card. And you can have uh, the 123greetings.com save your information for next time so that it makes it faster for you to send on the next card. So this has been a video demonstration on how you can use 123 Greetings to send a free e-card to anybody for an anniversary, a birthday, a thank you, congratulations, just about any event. One other thing about 123 Greetings is if you go to the website on the homepage, it shows you upcoming major events in case you don't have good memory, like May Flowers Month, Graduation, Memorial Day. It also has some unique ones like June 8th is both Best Friends Day and Ice Cream Day, which I thought was unique. Um, Flag Day, Father's Day. So basically, you can always see your upcoming calendar events and which ones which may or may not require a card that you might want to send out to somebody. So one, two, three greetings should be in your bookmark. Remember to send your thank yous and your e-cards to friends and family members. And thank you for watching.